I want to finish up with Dale Vince, who apparently is yeah. just, uh, currently out on the streets of London protesting uh, with Just Stop Oil. He's not only bankrolling their uh, business, but he's now actually um, taking part in the marches as well. He is, of course, also a major Labour donor, and poor old Keir Starmer has managed to get himself in a bit of hot water by deciding to change his entire policy on the North Sea uh, and oil and gas exploration after being in receipt of some cash from Dale. Yeah, yeah, we've got to watch out for Dale. Of course, this is the way he started. He, in fairness to him, he was always a, a, a green, anarcho-green zealot. Yes. Um, well, he's he, done very well out of it, hasn't he? And he's done very well out of it. You'd think he'd be more inclined to spend a bit more time at the moment sorting his football club out, which got relegated. Uh, yes, out of the football league. Uh, yeah, no, no, down to the down to Division Two. Yeah. Uh, down to Division Two, Forest Green Rovers, yeah. where the stands are made of of hemp, yes. and you're not allowed to eat any meat. Um, I, I, I mean, I, the, the problem I have with Just Stop Oil <clears throat> is that we can't. <laughs> right. <laughs> if we could, we would, but we can't. Um, and the, it, it's funny because you know I used to go on protests when I was in my teens. Mm. <clears throat> But it was to protest about things which other people disagreed about. So I, I basically wanted a, a, uh, a radical socialist state with yeah. everything state owned and all that. I was, you know, on the far left. Well, that's a proper protest, that. Yeah, well, well, it's a, well, it's a proper protest because the problem with Just Stop Oil is we know. <laughs> we know that oil's not great. We know we've got to move away from it. And we're doing that. Mm. What else can we do? Right. What else can we possibly do? And that's why these middle-class twits, I think, is the word, isn't it, I think Mike? that's the word, yeah. I think that's the word, um, are causing fury. Um, it's not merely that they're stopping people going about their everyday uh, work. It's that, it's that evangelistic arrogance that yes. they have that they alone are in this sole possession of the knowledge that oil might be a bit iffy, frankly, mm. and the rest of us have no idea about it. It's an absurdity. Right. And also, the, my problem with them, and I'm trying to sort of delve into it a bit more than most people have so far, is I think that they're being paid to protest these people because they're doing it on a far too regular a basis. And actually now the ordinary people, and there's some more footage that we'll play um, probably later on, on the show, the, the, the real resistance now are the actual drivers who are getting out yeah. of their cars and pushing these <clears throat> sort of establishment maniacs out of the way. Because I'm just looking at Ofgem uh, and their Twitter account today where they've said, we welcome the government's plan to give us a net zero mandate in law in an amendment to the energy bill. This will link our legal obligations directly to the government's commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050. Ofgem is supposed to be the regulators of the business, right, and of regulators of the yeah. industry, not sort of eco-zealots, which is what they've now turned into. Everybody these days has to grandstand on a woke political issue. Yeah. You know, I, I have to say, you know, I, I agree that we need to get ourselves off oil. I agree we need new strategies in, in order to do that. Um, and it would be great if we could abolish oil overnight, but of course we can't because people would die. You know, I mean, it's, it, it, right. it really is as simple as that. You know, we can't do without and it. And also, it's unless you're energy. very, very wealthy indeed, you can't really afford an electric car. No, that's right. Well, electric cars are another issue, uh, which I think we've talked about before, but to, to my mind are, are the wrong answer. Uh, to uh, to a question which probably shouldn't have been asked. No. I mean, I, I I don't go along with the electric cars, but you know, I, I do accept that we need to reduce our uh, 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 carbon emissions, I do, and the oil is 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 an enormous pollutant. But it's it's the it's a zero sum argument of, of of these people that that just stop it now, and you cannot do that, and they know you cannot do that. Uh, I suspect, I mean, you, you talk about them, they're, they're an awful lot of them protesting. I suspect they probably work in the public sector, Mike, where it's easier to yes. get the data. Well, either that or they just don't work at all, because there's, well, a, lot of pen, there's a lot of pensioners and a lot of students and not much in between. Public sector, students, middle class pensioners and uh, the perpetually idle. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Maybe we should just stop them. That would be a good start. Uh, yeah. Rod, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Rod Little there.